Before we get into the video, make sure y'all like, subscribe if you're new. I mean, come on, what are you doing? If you're not sub to me by now, my content is fire for catch from his news videos, stop motions, tour reviews, tour photography breakdowns, music occasionally. My Instagram is linked down below. And yeah, let's get straight to it. Okay, so got some news and updates to talk about today. Uh, first up, Legacy Core Class Thundercracker. Now, I think this guy is going to be a part of Wave 2. He's a, definitely a repaint of Starscream. I don't know if the head is slightly different. Uh, maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I'm not sure. Uh, but he comes with his Null Rays this time, which, you know, is famously missing off of the Legacy Skywarp repaint from earlier um, in 2022. I almost said earlier this year. Got to get used to it being 2023 now. But, um, yeah, I mean nice little core class for those of you that collect it but me i won't be getting this because i don't really care too much about smaller versions of the characters in core class what i care about for core class is characters that actually fit that scale and price point but hey i know there's a lot of people out there that do really like these and i don't know i mean for like um I'm going to be using some toy photography language right here, so if you don't understand, please forgive me. Some multi-scale di displays, or um, if you want to do some forced perspective or whatever, I guess the smaller versions could work in certain scenes and scenarios for stop motions or toy photography. So I do understand, but for, for me personally, I haven't found any use for them as of yet but this is pretty cool this is pretty cool nice little repaint digging the silver and the yellow highlights with the black and the blue so yeah definitely better than the sky warp and uh, right up there with the kingdom star scream and lastly that what i wanted to talk about in this video is an update to the test screening leaks from rise of the beast uh, that i covered um a few days ago now uh, somebody was on the boards talking about a source they had and talking about the details of the screenings And if you want to watch the video, it's on my channel. It's like a couple videos down at this point uh, but uh, the, th That was confirmed to be false So don't believe anything that was covered in that video from that person because it's just not true and what the person typed out here uh, Mara J 101 ROTB trailer on Twitter. We all know who that is. I'm, I hope, uh, confirmed the leak was actually some bullshite. He has a friend who knows insider information at Paramount. Meanwhile, a few posts that I saw from Xeno XX121 on the site state that Transit does not resemble Long Haul, and Xeno is known for having seen some un unseen concept arts on set so he can be trusted enough. Secondly, the leaks have contradicted whatever what was being said by the Blanimous guy, which if you remember, was the guy that originally leaked some test screenings like back in the summertime and we all thought it was false, but then once the trailer and some more info started dropping, it turned out to be true. So there's that. And then he, he also writes here, just take a look at his leaks and then look at the leaks over here. They contradict each other. Thirdly, there was no test screening for Rise of the Beast in December. The leak came in December, but the test screening itself came somewhere between July and August. However, Shadow Ninja claims that test screening was in December. Finally, portions of the leak itself is an edited copy-paste of some Wattpod Vore story. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm not into that sort of 4chan stuff. I'm not on the dark side of the internet. So... Please forgive me if I'm wrong, uh, which is quite unbelievable, but it's true. This so-called leak was first seen on one of the 4chan boards. Okay, weird turn of events there. Uh, I didn't think anybody would be fooled by 4chan people, but here we are. <clears throat> and uh, first off, I want to say I'm glad that that leak is not true. Bumblebee shooting Scourge in the head and killing him just sounds absolutely and utterly ridiculous. I'm so glad that this turned out to be false and people with some actual sources came through and confirmed that this isn't real whatsoever. And I'm also glad that Transit isn't another Decepticon that reuses the long haul CG render a la uh, Onslaught from TLK. I'm so happy about that. And the dump truck from Dark of the Moon. But yeah, 
Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. Don't want to make it too much longer. Just a quick update before I drop some original content on the channel. I'm going to be talking about uh, HasLab Star Saber. I'm going to be talking about my top five uh, Transformers legacy figures from last year. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in those videos. Bye. Congratulations, you have made it to the end of this video.